But if you do not want to run your document camera. Do you want to put it on this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just need this, um, this little table. Yeah. There. Or this little port. So if you decide that you do not want to run this through your computer or your Chromebook, you can direct connect this. Okay. So there is going to be, there's some USB ports right up front. You can plug it in. So I'll plug this guy in. And under apps, there is the visualizer. Oh, it's, sorry. I'm just trying to use it as a. Here. Oh my gosh. Um, so you can. Sorry, I'm really bad at the document camera. I can never get this thing to work ever. Okay. You, you guys are fine. Experts at it. Okay. So this, with the basically what this does, is it takes this apart. So I don't need to run this through my computer now. I can plug it right in, and I can use it with the Visualizer app. So obviously, I can write right here. It sees everything I'm going to see. Or I could use these annotation tools. Yes. And I can annotate over here. Now it freezes it, right? It freezes so that, it. Yeah. Okay. So I can move this, and I'm like, okay, now let's trace this. This is gonna be really bad because it's died on. <laughs> I can trace it. I can do whatever I want with it. I can save those images. So if a student was coming up here and doing work, I can save it. Or if I wanted to, I'd be like, you know what? I want to just take a screenshot of this. And I just want to use whiteboard. And then I can bring it into my whiteboard. So maybe if you had like a flower underneath, mm -hmm. and you wanted to take a picture of it, and then yep. bring it into you know, whiteboard and label it. Right. Ah, there you go. Label it the flower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all I did was plug this into the front and use the Visualizer app. Is this easier than using it through your computer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of times I think this, especially in the younger grades, use this a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, I always have to have it connected to my computer. Now you don't. Yeah, if you don't want to. Also, think about if you had a sub. This is much easier to have this set up here and they could just run through here and not maybe have access to your devices. Mm -hmm. Do they really need to have everything when they're here for a day or two? You know what I mean? They don't need to be in your email. They don't need to be in your drive. You know what I mean? They can kind of just in and out. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is the app I used. It always pays to have the training done in your room because I'm going to favorite it for you. So under apps, everyone already has it on their panel. It's the visualizer. You will notice that you have a little favorites icon. I would recommend it if you want to use the visualizer a lot. It's sometimes easier just to add it to there. And then it's always there. So I'm like, oh, I just need my visualizer. It's right there. Bam. So basically, it's plug and play. I plug this thing right into one of these ports. Go. And there it is. And then you can move this guy wherever. You know what I mean? So you can have full access to your, right up to your panel, however you want it to do. Move it to the side. But I think that might be a little bit easier to use the document camera this way yeah. than running it through your computer and things like that. Any questions with that?